Hello friends, welcome to our channel Learn and Have Fun. Today we are here with a quiz on chapter light of class 10th. This quiz will help you prepare for the upcoming term 1 CBSE exams. The CBSE term 1 exams will be objective in nature, consisting of multiple choice questions, case based questions and questions on assertion reason. Let's begin our quiz. Question number 1. In torches, searchlights and headlights of vehicles, the bulb is placed and the options are A. Between the pole and the focus of the reflector B. Very near to the focus of the reflector C. Between the focus and center of curvature and D. At the center of the curvature And the correct answer is option B, very near to the focus of the reflector. To get a parallel beam from the reflector, the bulb is placed very near to the focus of the reflector. Question number 2. Sneha placed a juice bottle at a distance of 20 cm in front of a convex mirror, which has a focal length of 20 cm. Where will be the image likely to form? And the options are A. At focus behind the mirror, B. At focus in front of the mirror, C. At a distance of 10 cm behind the mirror, and D. At a distance of 10 cm in front of the mirror. And the correct answer is option C. At a distance of 10 cm behind the mirror. Over here, Focal length of convex mirror is 20 cm and the object distance u is minus 20 cm. Using the mirror formula, you can obtain the image distance which come out to be 10 cm. The positive value indicates that image is formed behind the mirror. Question number 3. An incident ray makes an angle of 35 degrees with the surface of the plane mirror. What will be the angle of reflection? And the options are A. 55 degrees B. 35 degrees C. 45 degrees and D. 90 degrees And the correct answer is option A. 55 degrees As the incident ray makes an angle of 35 degrees with the surface of the mirror, that means the angle made with the normal will be 90 degrees minus 35 degrees equals to 55 degrees and angle of reflection will be same as angle of incidence that is 55 degrees. Question number 4. Neha is observing her image in a plane mirror. The distance between the mirror and her image is 5 meter. If she moves 1 meter towards the mirror then the distance between Neha and her image would be and the options are A. 5 meter, B. 8 meter, C. 10 meter, and D. 4 meter. And the correct answer is option B. 8 meter. For a plane mirror, the distance between image and mirror is same as the distance between object and mirror. Initially, Neha is at a distance of 5 meter from the mirror. Now she moves 1 meter towards the mirror, so the distance between Neha and mirror is now 4 meter. The image of Neha will also come closer. Now image will be 4 meter behind the mirror. Thus the distance between Neha and her image would be 8 meter. Question number 5. What kind of mirror is required for obtaining a virtual image of the same size as the object? And the options are A. Concave mirror B. Convex mirror C. Rear view mirror and D. Plane mirror And the correct answer is option D. Plane mirror Plane mirror forms an image which is of same size as the object. No matter how far the object is, it always forms the same sized image. Question number 6. The angle formed between the incident ray and the emergent ray produced backward is called 
and the options are a angle of emergence b angle of refraction c angle of deviation and d angle of incidence and the correct answer is option c angle of deviation the light while passing through a prism deviate from its original direction and emerge out from the prism making an angle with the incident ray known as angle of deviation question number 7 a ray of light enters the glass prism from a rarer medium while entering the prism at the point of incidence it will and the options are a go straight through the prism b bend away from the normal c bend towards the normal and d none of these and the correct answer is option c bend towards the normal as the ray of light is going from rarer medium air to the denser medium glass it bends towards the normal question number 8 A prism ABC is placed in different orientations. A narrow beam of white light is incident on the prism as shown in the figure given below. In which of the following cases after dispersion the third color from the top corresponds to the color of the sky? And the options are A figure 1, B figure 2, C figure 3 and D figure 4. and the correct answer is option b figure 2 we know that color of the sky is blue the blue color appears at the third from the top when the prism is inverted question number 9 the angle formed between the two planes of refracting faces of prism is called and the options are a angle of emergence b base angle c angle of refraction and d angle of prism and the correct answer is option d angle of prism the two rectangular refracting faces of prism makes an angle known as angle of prism question number 10 the refractive index of glass prism is 1.5 the velocity of light will be and the options are a more in air than in glass prism b more in glass prism than in air c same in both the medium and d none of these and the correct answer is option a more in air than in glass prism glass with refractive index 1.5 is denser than air denser the medium less the speed of the light in that medium thus speed of light will be more in air than in glass question number 11 for performing the experiment to trace the path of light through prism the incident angle taken should be and the options are a 0 to 30 degree b 30 degrees to 60 degrees c 30 degrees to 90 degrees and d 60 degrees to 90 degrees and the correct answer is option b 30 degrees to 60 degrees to get the better result in experiment angle of incidence should be between 30 degrees and 60 degrees if the angle of incidence is less than 30 degrees it may produce total internal reflection and if angle of incidence is greater than 60 degrees then the incident ray is very close to the surface of prism and it is difficult to trace the path of light question number 12 a student observed the dispersion phenomena and studied the band of seven colors the correct observation made is and the options are a blue light is deviated more than the indigo light b green light is deviated more than the blue light c red light is deviated more than the yellow light and d violet light is deviated more than the blue light and the correct answer is option d 
violet light is deviated more than the blue light. The bending of light increases in this order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Violet bends the maximum and red bends the least. In the order you can see violet color bends more than the blue color. Question number 13. A ray of light strikes the surface of glass prism making an angle of 90 degrees. The angle of incidence at the surface of prism is and the options are A. 90 degrees B. 0 degree C. Less than 90 degrees and D. More than 90 degrees. And the correct answer is option B, 0 degree. Angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. The ray is falling perpendicular to the glass prism, thus making the angle of incidence 0 degree. Question number 14. For the refraction of a ray of light through a glass prism, the path of a ray of light is shown below. The angle of incidence, the angle of emergence and the angle of deviation respectively have been represented by and the options are a y and z b x z m c x n z and d x m z and the correct answer is option d x m z angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal the angle X in the diagram is the angle of incidence. Similarly, angle M is the angle of emergence. Angle of deviation is the angle between direction of incident ray and emergent ray. The angle Z in the diagram corresponds to the angle of deviation. Question number 15. In an experiment to trace the path of a ray of light through a glass prism for different values of angle of incidence, a student would find that the emergent ray and the options are A. Parallel to the incident ray B. Perpendicular to the incident ray C. Is parallel to the refracted ray and D. Bends at an angle to the direction of incident ray And the correct answer is option D. Bends at an angle to the direction of the incident ray the emergent ray makes an angle with the direction of incident ray. The angle is also known as angle of deviation. Question number 16. In the spectrum of white light, the color with the longest wavelength is and the options are A. Violet B. Red C. Yellow and D. Orange And the correct answer is option B, red. The red color is having the longest wavelength in the spectrum. Question number 17. The sun appears reddish at the time of sunrise and sunset. It is due to the, and the options are, atmospheric refraction of sunlight. B, as red travels fastest in air, so it reaches our eyes first and the other color reaches late. C. The red color disperses in the atmosphere due to which the sun also appear reddish. And D. Only red color of the sun reaches the observer's eye as blue and other short wavelengths get scattered by thick atmosphere. And the correct answer is option D. Only red color of the sun reaches the observer's eye as blue and other short wavelengths get scattered by thick atmosphere. As red color is having the longest wavelength, it is scattered least in the atmosphere. At sunrise, the sunlight travel relatively longer distance in the atmosphere than at the noon time. As such, at sunrise, most of the blue colored light gets scattered and only red color reaches our eye. Question number 18. For which color the refractive index of glass is maximum? And the options are A. Red B. Blue C. Violet and D. Indigo And the correct answer is option C. 
violet. The refractive index of glass is maximum for violet color. That's why violet color bends maximum inside glass prism. Question number 19. A beam of white light splits into seven colors while passing through a prism. This is due to the options are A. Different colors have different angle of incidence. B. Different colors travels with different speed in the glass medium. C. Different colors travel with the same speed in the glass medium. And D. Different colors have same angle of refraction. And the correct answer is option B. Different colors travel with different speed in the glass medium. The cause of dispersion is that different colors travel with different speed in glass medium. Due to this, lights get split into seven colors. Question number 20. The wavelength of the red colored light is about dash time that of the blue colored light. And the options are A. 1.5 times B. 1.8 times C. 2.5 times and D. 2 times And the correct answer is option B. 1.8 times Thank you for watching this MCQ video. Please like, comment, subscribe and share this video. Don't forget to watch our recently uploaded videos on this channel.